right after we wrap up here on Talk Pittsburgh, local news coverage takes over, as you know. And community has always been the focus at KDKA. That includes a more targeted look at the stories that matter most to you. Joining us now with more is KDKA consumer and investigative reporter Megan Schiller. I love this new addition of you really diving into issues that matter to consumers, especially because this is this is huge. Yes, and also the fact that KDK investigates, you know, we're the only people that are doing this, right. that are taking these issues that people have, and you, we've seen the emails, we've seen the messages, right. where they feel like they're not getting any help. People aren't answering their emails, they're not answering their phone calls, and we're putting the power of KDK behind them, and we're saying we will help you in this journey, and we will get a fair resolution for you, or at least we'll help to shine and illuminate the problem. Yeah, and is that the goal of it? I mean, you're really trying to get answers and help for, for people who are calling in with these. Yeah, whether that is someone that has a contractor fraud, a scam. I'm talking with one gentleman that's 94 years old, and the bank won't give him back his $2,000 that someone stole. Anything like that we can help and we can just make those phone calls and shine a light on it. Something really timely, uh, we, we know with the debate coming up tonight, yeah. uh, there was a, an important story all about the vote. So tell us a little bit about this one. Yeah, Chillicothe Adeli did this one and it essentially was about managing the vote. Most Pittsburgh-based counties have lost leaders in their elections division since 2020. So what does that mean, right? Green County lost five leaders in their election division. Wow. Westmoreland, three. So who are the people that are coming in? And so the point of that story was to show these people are still experienced, they're still county employees, and they still have the integrity of the election at the utmost of their mind. And they're community members, just like you and me, and they want to see this election, no matter which way it goes, they want to see everything go to a T. So, and one of the other things you all are focusing on, I think this is so important, we were just talking about cell phones in schools right. and the need for parents to try to get in contact with them if mm -hmm. something were to happen. Something you've, you're focusing on is safeguarding our schools. So what can you yeah. tell us about this? Well, I think people are going to be shocked to see this data, specifically about school shootings, right? So we hear about school shootings and we talk about how they need to stop. But the data that we uncovered, which was that more school shootings are happening in the parking lot. So while our districts are emphasizing bulletproof glass, metal detectors, we also need to not miss the forest for the trees. So that is what that upcoming story is going to dig into. How is this happening? Why are all these school shootings happening out in the parking lot? And what can be done about that? We're going to talk to some students who say that they feel the need now to have their own safety plan, which is wild. But I mean, probably a good idea if you're a parent to talk to your kids. About so, what that might look like. Yeah, what that might look like. If, you know, if the district isn't meeting your standards to safety, talk to your kids. I imagine this one's really, I mean, as parents ourselves, very yeah. difficult because every parent is going to have their own opinion about what needs to be done, what is going to be the best approach. Then you have the districts, the teachers, everyone weighing in, and then local law enforcement too. Yeah, it's just a shame that it's a topic that continually needs to be talked about, but every district is trying something different. And sometimes what they're doing is working and some it's not. So that's why we get to focus on some districts that aren't just in our area. What are they doing that's working? Can we bring that to the Pittsburgh area? And if a parent sees the story and they like what they see, can they then go to their leaders at their school district and suggest it? Can you talk about this check washing story? What, what is this? I'm so excited for this story. And this okay. is something that's coming up. Coming up. Okay. A uh, neighbor of Ralph, he lives up in Beaver Falls. He's yeah. 94, called and said, you gotta talk to him. Essentially, someone washed his checks that he put in the mailbox. He had written $5 checks. Someone washed them and wrote them out for nearly $900. No. He's out $2,000 calling the banks. No one will listen to him. And we have a very happy ending with this one. And Ralph is, let's just say Ralph is sleeping soundly for the first time in months. That is insane. Yeah, and it's happening happen? all around our area. Wow. And why then did it take us stepping in and making phone calls? Did it take that for the banks to step up? I have watched you since you've been here at KDKA kind of transform into this role. What do you love most about helping people in, in investigations yeah. and in your consumer reporting? Well, it's it's honestly, I said after we interviewed Ralph, I said to the photographer, Dennis Lane, who you know, I said, we are getting Ralph back his money. It's just like this passion of people that have been wronged or just feel helpless. And he was so upset and just felt so down and out. And so to be able to make some calls and just write a situation or have someone just feel finally heard. It, it's just, you know, it makes you feel better. It makes you feel like you're doing something We're for a good cause. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know a lot of people are thankful that you are, and I think this is gonna be a really great role for you to take on too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Megan. And if there's an issue that you want Megan to look into, you can send an email to investigators at kdka.com. We're gonna have all this information on our website as well.